and welcome back to the channel this video is kind of a special video it's the very first time taking the lyric graffiti out for a ride so it's a first impression ride going to be there's a good look at the the bike so we're going to take it for a first ride we're taking you along with us uh, so that's what it looks like and I sat on I have not ridden it yet of course but I've sat on it and I gotta tell you if you're a shorter person like me five foot nine this bike is definitely lower it's it's a lower seat and just pushing the bike I just pushing it right to here um, before I turn it on it you can just tell how much lower it is to the ground so it's a little bit lower um, but it's fine for taller folks too I mean uh because of the let me move my helmet here you've got the extra little uh extended seat here it's a long seat so you can any taller rider can sit right here right and so uh i think it'd be fine for either but for us uh that are under six feet i think this is going to be uh a nice uh difference uh i'm gonna be you're going to hear me uh, compare this a lot to the graffiti or to the uh, grizzly i should say because that's the bike i'm used to riding quite a bit so uh, you'll hear that quite a bit so i'm going to put my helmet on so when i when i do uh talk about this bike i am going to be making comparisons like i say to the uh, grizzly so that'll be coming up quite a bit I'm sure so here we go okay first of all let's turn the bike on so we've got two batteries on this particular bike so uh, I've got the dual battery so we turn on battery there and over here I've got them fully charged so we're ready to go should turn my helmet light on here there we go so let's turn the bike on I have to figure out what all the functions are on the bike too and it's starting to rain so hopefully I didn't, didn't wear my raincoat so hopefully it doesn't rain too much before we're done the video let's hop on so it's a it's got a day running light so it's always going to be on your headlight now okay so when I took off there I could feel it was a little more gradual than the Grizzly um, but it feels like it gets up to speed really fast very smooth one thing that's really different about this one is this when the seating position is different I feel like I'll tell you what it, it feels like to me this is almost like when you're riding in a vehicle that's higher up like let's say you're in a pickup truck it feels to me like I'm in a pickup truck as opposed to a car uh, even though the bike sits lower uh, to the ground I feel like I'm up and everything is out of the way more you know like I feel like I got a clearer vision I feel like I'm sitting it's funny to say this but I feel like I'm sitting higher but I'm not if that makes any sense so that's different um, what else can I say this steering the front feels a little bit on the heavy side for steering I think uh, it's something you just got to get used to it's very quiet I'll say that the motor I'm not hearing a lot of 
uh, noise like I would on the uh, like I would on the uh, Grizzly. Now, I haven't looked at the speedometer. I believe that might be in kilometers. I have not changed it. I'll just leave it for now, but I believe that may be in kilometers. And uh, so it makes a little bit of a noise when I first take off. I don't know if that's supposed to do that or not, but it does. I tell you, it gets up to speed pretty quickly here. And the throttle is a thumb throttle. Now, th those are not my favorite generally, but boy, this one feels so easy to push. And um, your hand doesn't really have to go out of position <clears throat> when you're uh, pushing it. Like sometimes you have to reach down under for uh, throttle and all that. They got this one up at a pretty good height, pretty much level with your hand. And uh, something else I should mention that I've noticed is the hand grips. The hand grips on this bike feel really good to the hand. I've got gloves on right at the moment, but they uh, feel like they're not as they're not as big. You know, they're a little thinner not as big around they're a little thinner around and so they're i don't know they just for me they feel like a nice grip they feel heavy too like a, a well-made they're good ones um yeah that's kilometers that we're we're going in so um I won't bother uh, changing it or playing around with it too much now, but I will uh, change it to uh, miles per hour. Now I think I'm set in, uh, I don't know if I'm set to off-road or if this is just the regular, the, let me change see if I can change. Well, I'll wait till I get to a better spot and then I'll change, push the button and see which one is which, which way is which for on and off road. Yeah, the one, that one thing that I, I'm going to keep coming back to is that the positioning to me on this bike is so different feeling than than the Grizzly. I feel like, like I say, I feel like I'm in a pickup truck as opposed to a car that's sitting lower to the ground. As the rain comes down a little more and I don't have eye protection at the moment. Very smooth this bike, I'll say that. It's smooth and it gets up to speed pretty quickly. And because I don't have my rain gear on, I should have worn it and my eye protection, that rain that's coming down is going right into my eyes and that's stinging. And uh, that's no fun. So let's see here. This is a good stretch here to got one stop coming up here though. I think this is off-road mode it must be because it got up there pretty quickly to 40 kilometers. The braking seems pretty good. I haven't tried the regen yet. There's that little bit of noise when you first take off. Now I, I assume that's normal. A little bit of a uh, just whatever that noise is so let's switch the oh yeah okay so that was off road okay here's on road um, so you have the button right here this gray button so in is for off road or in is for yeah in is for on road off is for off road And it's windy out and raining, so 
it's definitely holding me back and it's going to get up to the 32 so 32 kilometers is about your 20 miles an hour which is the legal speed for riding on the road so yeah it's a little slow on the takeoff i notice here especially in the off-road or on the on-road i should say uh situation you can feel slowly picking up so it's a little slow and gradual on the start it's not going to peel out or anything but once it gets going it goes along pretty nice it's very smooth quiet brakes are good when I do a night ride which I will do I'll be able to really test that headlight out it does have the uh, day day running light but I'll give the uh, headlight a good try on a future ride at night to see how well that performs so here we are in on-road mode and we're clocking at 33 kilometers 34 I'm going down a slight hill here not much of a hill but a little bit So if you want to make sure you stay in uh, legal road mode, just keep the switch right here, this gray switch pushed in for on-road. If you want to go off-road mode, then you have it on the out position. It's going to take a little getting used to. I can feel the front feels a little bit on the heavy side for turning. You might have heard that noise right there. That's when I first take off the noise that you're hearing. I'm going to try, up to the stop sign here, I'm going to try a little bit of pedaling. Okay, let's try a little bit of pedaling. Yeah. Wow. So, um, I'm not so sure uh, pedaling is going to be uh, Let's try it here. Okay, just pedaling along. Boy, it just goes My shoe was hitting something there, but now I moved my foot. So that's what that squeaking noise was. Yeah, the pedaling is really easy. This is the first time I've had the bike out, so I'm sure when I get out there and riding it back and forth to work and all that, I think I'm going to get a lot of comments and questions about the bike. Any e-bike you ride, you get the questions, or I do at least, uh, the, the main questions are, how far can you go on a charge? That seems to be the number one that I get a lot. And how fast will the bike go? And then how much does it cost? Those are the three 
questions I get uh, asked the most. But the first one seems to be a lot. Not how fast it'll go, but how far can you go on a charge? That's the, uh, um, I think that's the question I get asked the most. And uh, it's a hard question to answer because it depends on a lot of things, right? Including how you ride. The conditions you're riding in etc so it's hard really to give them an answer and uh, how big a person are you you know all of that comes into play okay i'm gonna now this is in this is still in the on-road mode and you can see it's not climbing this hill overly fast is it I'm going to switch it to off-road mode. And it definitely picks up speed. So, uh, I think for me, I don't, I think the only time I'm going to use the, use the on-road, just for the simple fact that it's a little slower to pick up uh, speed and all, I think I would probably only use the on-road mode if I'm on a bike path, pedestrian path deal. Of course, I'll have to be, do some more rides to get a good feel for the bike. I. This is just in a first impression ride. Now I've got wind I'm running right into, but I've got it in uh, off-road mode and you can really feel the difference. It doesn't take as long to get up to speed in off-road mode as it does. On-road mode is very slow. It's really... Uh, it's really said to be careful, you know, and you're not going to have a whole lot of torque on the takeoff and it just doesn't have a lot of... Mm, it's more of a steady... a steady pace. But like I say, that would be absolutely perfect on uh, when you're on a uh, a bike slash pedestrian trail, or you just don't want to, or just can't go faster because of the uh, uh, people and and around. You know, you just on those kind of paths, you just can't get going really fast anyway. At least around here, um, there's a lot of turns, and and you don't know who's coming around the corner when you're approaching the corner and stuff like that. So the bike is getting wet on its first day out on the road. So if you have any uh, questions about the bike, uh, leave a comment in the comments below and I'll uh, do my best to answer them. It'll take me a little while to get used to the bike, but I will get a lot of rides in, so uh, it won't take that long to get used to it. it was under a little better conditions here uh, I didn't come out equipped I saw that it was going to rain but I thought I had a 
about a one hour window but as soon as I got out here uh, to do the ride of course the rain started so you just can't win yeah I'm pretty sure that my riding will mostly be in the off-road mode and you can just uh, if you don't want to go fast and I want to stay 20 miles an hour I can still do that uh, in the off-road mode just don't crank it up but I do like the difference of power you can really feel it it uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of torque and power um, in the uh, in the on-road mode but I do uh, like the fact that they have the switch to go back and forth the uh, Grizzly does not have that the Grizzly Uh, when you unlock it you just go into the settings and change the speed the maximum speed to whatever you want of course I put it to 99 I know the bike doesn't go 99 but basically that just tells the bike that you want it to to be able to go maximum speed when you want to go that that speed so but this uh, here I kind of like this uh, I like this uh, switch to go back and forth though because if I'm on a like I say if I'm on a pedestrian slash bike path I'm definitely going to go in the slower uh, the on-road it's kind of funny because I'm going to be off-road but I'm going to use the on-road and vice versa when I'm on the road I'm going to use the off-road I think there's uh, too much power to give up switching it so I don't think I want to lose that much power I think I like the you know being after riding the Grizzly I like to be able to take off a little bit quicker and and uh, and just the overall quickness you know I like that quicker so there we go that's the first ride on the graffiti. So a couple of things I want to point out. So uh, first of all, like I said, the seat. Now the seat is lower than the Grizzly. I think the seat on this is 31 inches from uh, uh, for seat height, I believe. So uh, that probably is about right because I can I have bend in my knees a little bit uh, touching the uh, ground with my feet. But you sit up the positioning. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit, maybe I'm a little bit closer to the handlebars. Maybe that's it. Because I do definitely feel like I'm sitting up uh, higher. Like I say, like uh, comparing a pickup truck to a car. You know how you have that, you feel like, you know, you're up a little bit higher. Well, that's, that's the feeling I got. Um, one thing I'll say about the pedaling unless you're in the slower uh, on-road mode for pedaling you can do a little pedaling that way I don't think this bike is going to be um, the greatest for those that want to do pedaling it doesn't look like it's going to be that kind of a bike you can do some casual little bit of pedaling and stop a little bit of pedaling and stop but I don't think you're going to be able to do uh, the pedaling as well that's just my opinion um, you can, uh, we'll see what others uh, say on their graffiti, how they, uh, how they feel about the pedaling part. But uh, otherwise, uh, getting used to the, it has a little different feel for steering, the handle handlebars uh, when I'm turning. I love these grips. These are really nice grips. They're, they're smaller around, they feel. So you, and they have a good, they have a good, feel you know you they have a good uh, grip <laughs> I guess is what I was trying to say which what they are but they just have a good feel I guess 
I love the look of the uh, the black with the white the bike being white but all the black like the fenders um, and thankfully look at the fender here how far down it goes love the fact that it goes down that far because the um, Grizzly it only went a little bit there about half that so that's good I uh, will do a future some future rides where I can do a little more testing on stuff like speed the regen braking but there's lots of time for all of that um, uh, what else can I say uh, you know it has no rear suspension but I didn't even notice it so that's probably a good thing right uh, I never even thought about that till now now that I'm off the bike and I'm looking around I forgot about that having no suspension so that must tell you something right there I wasn't on an overly bumpy road or anything I'm not off-roading or anything so you'd probably have would have noticed it more in that situation but just riding on the regular street here uh, you know I didn't I didn't uh, notice it so that's good that's a good thing and uh, the brakes seem fine um, the acceleration like I say not good on the uh, uh, on-road very slow to take off it takes a while to get up to some decent speed not great in the hill climbing but in the off-road it seemed to do well I haven't done any hill testing yet but I will and definitely have to be in the off-road mode for hill climbing you're not going to be able to do well unless you want to pedal a lot with it maybe that would help you but otherwise you're not going to do well on hills uh, but otherwise I like it I like the bike I'm probably like I say going to ride it a lot in the off-road mode except for on bike paths and uh, overall I just love the bike so far first first impression I'm giving it two thumbs up I really like it and uh, we'll get more testing as we go it's nice and quiet I like the belt as opposed to a chain um, I don't know how long the batteries will last we'll have to see how that goes in the future but with the two batteries set up I should be fine for some pretty decent riding so like I say if you have any comments on the bike or questions uh, feel free to drop a uh, comment in the comments below and that's going to do it for another video here on the channel if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you would like to subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button and we appreciate that and if you would like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel you can hit that notification bell I want to point out as well that I have a, a an affiliation uh, link that you can hit to get you to Lyric Cycles and I have a, a coupon code which will save you $100 it's Oregon e-biker mark so just check that out in the description uh, hit that uh, the link to take you to the site and then uh, use the code Oregon eBiker Mark and you'll save yourself a hundred dollars. You'll help uh, the channel out as well, and you'll get yourself a pretty nice bike. So that's going to do it for this video. Once again, thank you for joining me today, and until next time, take care.